Hello sir, my name is Prashant. I am studying in B.Tech 4th semester CSCC wearing the roll number 22951A05F9. My TikTok topic is sensors in assisted living, a survey of signal and image processing methods. Okay, moving on to abstract. Our society will face a notable demographic shift in the near future. According to the United Nations report, the ratio of the elderly population, age 60 or older, to the overall population increased from 9.2% in 1990 to 11.7% in 2013 and is expected to reach 21.1% by 2050. According to the same report, 40% of the older people living independently in their own homes. The ratio is about 75% in developed countries. These facts will result in many societal challenges as well as, as, well as challenges in healthcare system. Thus, it is imperative to develop tools that help elderly people living independently. The recent developments in sensor technology and decreasing sensor costs have made the deployment of various sensors in various combinations viable, including static setups as well as wearable sensors. This article this presentation presents a survey that concentrates on the signal processing methods employed with different types of sensors. The types of sensors covered are pyroelectric infrared PIR, and vibration sensors, accelerometers, cameras, depth sensors, and microphones. Okay, introduction. AL systems basically aim to provide more safety and autonomy and improve wellness and health conditions of older people while allowing them to live independently, as well as relieving the workload of caregivers and health providers. A fundamental component of the AL system is the use of different types of sensors to monitor the activities of the residents. These sensors can be broadly categorized into two groups, static sensors at fixed locations, example, PR sensors, vibration sensors, pressure sensors, cameras and microphones, and mobile and wearable sensors, example accelerometers, thermal sensors, and pulse oximeters. There are several choices of specific sensors or sensor combinations. Currently, there are many AL systems implementing various tasks such as fall detection, mobile, ener mobile emergency response, video surveillance, automation, monitoring activities of daily living, etc. Falls among elderly are a major concern for both families and medical professionals. Autonomous fall detection systems or AL can reduce the severity of falls by informing other people to deliver help and reduce the amount of time people remain on the floor. These systems can increase safety and independence of the elderly people. To truly assist elderly people, an AL system should, should satisfy some basic requirements. Number 1. Low cost. Almost 90% of the older adults prefer to stay in the comfort of their homes. Therefore, an AL system should be affordable by average elderly person or a elderly couple. High accuracy. Since the aim is to enhance the wellness and the quality life quality of elderly people, a tolerable error rate should be achieved. User acceptance. Since the aim is to enhance the wellness and life quality of elderly people, the AL system should be compatible with ordinary activities of the people so that they can interact with the system easily, that is, by speaking naturally, using simple gestures, etc. Also, users do not find variable systems or those that are need to be carried with pra practical. Thus, contact free and remotely controllable systems are desired privacy. The AL system should be non-visual and share minimal private data with the monitoring call center regarding the daily living activities of individuals. Human activity recognition using various centers and model. The most important signal processing problem in AL systems is the recognition of human activity from signals generated by various sensors including vibration sensors, PIR sensors, and wearable accelerometers. Obviously, each sensor generates different kind of time series data. Therefore, signal processing and machine learning algorithms tailored for specific sensor need to be developed. 
पेयर सेंसर सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग पेयर सेंसर्स आर लो कॉस्ट डिवाइज डिजाइन टू डिटेक्ट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मूविंग बॉडीज फ्रॉम स्टेशनरी ऑब्जेक्ट्स दे आर ईजी टू यूज एंड की वन वर्क इन डार्क अनलाइक ऑर्डनरी विजन बेस्ड सिस्टम्स बिकॉज द इमेज इंफ्राइड लाइट ए पे आर सिस्टम फंक्शंस बाई मेजरिंग द डिफरेंस इन इंफ्राइड रेडिएशन बिटवीन द टू पायरो इलेक्ट्रिक एलिमेंट्स इन साइड ऑफ इट दिस डिफरेंस अकर्स ड्यू टू द मोशन ऑफ बॉडीज इन द व्यूइंग रेंज ऑफ सेंसर वेन द टू पायरो इलेक्ट्रिक एलिमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू द सेम इंफ्राइड रेडिएशन लेवल द जनरेट इज जीरो आउटपुट सिग्नल बाई कैंसलिंग ईच अदर आउट देर फॉर द एनालॉग सर्क्यूट ऑफ पिर सेंसर can reject false detections very accurately pir sensors are widely used in the context of al pir sensors are installed in the ceiling of hospital rooms to access the daily activities of elderly patients the activities are classified in 24 different categories by checking the number of sensors activated and recording the time interval for which they remain activated Mixture models are applied to the sensor data in the training set to develop a probabilist model of event types. These models are then used to identify the type of event associated with each observation in the test set. The PIR sensor ends sends the value one to the control if there are activities from the person and zero otherwise. Hidden Markov models events forward algorithms. and viterbi algorithms are used to analyze the obtained data sequence if a certain deviation from constituent models is detected the caregiver receives an alert pir sensors are utilized for the estimation of walking speed and daily activity the walking speed of the resident is estimated from time of pir sensor firing that are placed sequentially along a hall the amount of daily activity is decided based on the number of sensors f- sensor firing per minute when the subject is in the home so image here the F, the aforementioned studies all use binary outputs produced by the analog pir motion detector circuits however it is possible to capture a continuous time analog signal by accessing by processing this analog signals more complicated tasks as opposed to just the on off ramps operations can be accomplished the original output of sensor signal x of t is the first digital is first digitized using a analog to digital converter feature vectors v and r are then extracted from the digitalized signal it is possible to extract a feature vector for each signal sample however it is computationally more efficient to extract a feature vector for a frame of data as in speech processing systems Finally these feature vectors are fed to a classifier to detect the events of interest such as walking falls uncontrolled fires etc the classifier is usually trained using past on our simple simulated data vibration and acoustic center sensor signal processing accelerometer is designed to measure vibration or either based on pyro piezoelectric effect or on electromagnet electromechanical energy conversion they are transducers for measuring the dynamic acceleration of a physical device all of their commercially available wearable fault detection systems are based on accelerometers they convert vibrations from electrical signals depending on the intensity of the vibration waves in the axis of vibration motor vibration sensors can be categorized into two groups based on the number of axes one axis and the three axis sensor types as mentioned previously vibration sensor can be wearable and or they can be installed on intelligent homes with the aim of sensing the vibrations on the floor in this Section B first review the stationary systems regular daily activities such as walking, running, sitting, or chair. This falling on the floor causes measurable vibrations on the floor. Human falls are also cause vibrations which are transmitted through the floor. Therefore, vibrations can be installed in each room of the house. Partner can pick up the vibrations on the floor and be possible to detect them by continuously analyzing the sensor signal. In the next figure, a second, a ten-second long vibration sensor signal generated by a person walking is shown. It is clearly different from the human fall signal shown. The signal was recorded on concrete floor, and that fall took place three meters above the sensor. Human falls usually take about two seconds and create strong vibrations. So, because of a typical human is more than 100 pounds heavier than most of the objects that can fall on the floor in a house, machine learning techniques can be used to classify the vibration signal. Since vibrations are acoustic and sound waves are related to each other, it is natural to use the feature extraction techniques utilized in speech processing to analyze the vibration signals. Various Volvet and Frequency domain feature extraction schemes are employed every two seconds to extract feature wave sectors from the signal's wavelet, and different analysis methods are studied and compared to each other. Discrete Fourier transformation.
transform sub band energy levels mf mfcc discrete wavelength transform and dual tree complex wavelength transform based feature extraction methods are suited for feature extraction the image yes are shown here conclusions AL systems may provide safety and autonomy for elderly people while allowing them to live independently as well as relieve the workload of caregivers and health providers. However, to find widespread use, the system should be robust and reliable. Current commercially available autonomous systems which are not user activated employ simple threshold based algorithms for sensor data processing. As a result, they are prone to producing too many false alarms. Advanced signal processing techniques have to be developed to take full advantage of the recent developments in sensor technology and provide professional second variation in real life conditions and environment. Moreover, fusing multiple sensor modalities provide promising results with higher accuracy. Computational problems can be solved with the help of IoT, which refers to wireless systems connecting industrial, medical, automotive, and consumer devices to the internet. The IoT will allow objects and people to sense to be sensed over existing internet infrastructure. Vibrations and PAL sensors, acoustic sensors and microphones and cameras can be connected to form a network for an intelligent home designed for elderly people. The data and decision results that the sensors produce can be processed and fused over a cloud or a fog. We expect that the IoT will lead to remote health monitoring and emergency notification AL systems that will operate autonomously without requiring user intervention. Thank you.